Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, memory module, battery, M.2 solid state drive, wireless module, trunks, and thermal module. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of all the cables for later replacement. Disconnect the DC in cable from the connector on the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the I.O. board ZIF connector and disconnect the I.O. board ribbon cable from the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the hard disk drive ZIF connector and disconnect the hard disk drive ribbon cable from the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad button board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad button board ribbon cable from the motherboard. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the motherboard. Remove the four 3.5 mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the motherboard to the top cover. Grasping the motherboard near the center, lift the left edge off of the alignment pins, slide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover, and remove. Note, before installing a new motherboard, remove the memory modules from the old motherboard and install them onto the new motherboard. Reverse this procedure to install the motherboard.